I'm Sarah Birch with Kings News News, and here are your top headlines today, May 12, 2023. The Frontenac Detachment of the Ontario Provincial Police is asking for the public's assistance to identify a deceased person, the victim of a motor vehicle collision on Sydenham Road, north of Kingston. OPP say that the collision occurred on Wednesday, May 10, 2023, shortly after 10 p.m. The victim was on foot on Sydenham Road near Railton Road at the time of the collision. He was pronounced deceased at the scene. OPP are describing the male as Caucasian in his mid-twenties with a thin build, red hair, and a red goatee. OPP say that he had no tattoos or noticeable scars. One of the five derailed train cars that crashed into the marshlands just north of Bath Road on Friday, May 5, 2023, sits on the tracks at Invista after being lifted back onto the tracks and transported from the derailment site. What appears to be a bung patch of natural materials and absorbents has been used to plug up the site of a potential leak on the tanker. By late Friday night, CN had numerous dump trucks of gravel delivered to the site. This gravel was poured into the marshland in order to create a causeway or access route from Bath Road to the actual site of the derailment. A long-awaited report looking into ongoing equity, diversity, inclusion, indigenization and accessibility efforts of the Kingston Police Force has finally been made public, showcasing a desire among community members for greater accountability by Kingston Police. The Kingston Speaks Inclusion Project final report, commissioned by Kingston Police in 2021, sought feedback from hundreds of Kingston residents including those from marginalized and equity-deserving groups, about their interactions with Kingston Police and the changes they would like to see the force make. Utilities Kingston is inviting community members to attend an information session on the Front Road and King Street West Sewer and Water Project, which will likely recommence construction this spring. According to a release from Utilities Kingston, Project updates will be provided by leaders from Utilities Kingston, who will also be available to answer questions during an in-person session on Wednesday, May 24th at 6.30 p.m. An inquest into the 2017 deaths of four Hydro One workers, two of whom hailed from the Kingston area, will finally get underway on Monday, June 5th, 2023. After a delay in December 2022, Dr. Paul Dungy, Regional Supervising Coroner, made an announcement on Wednesday, May 10, 2023, to confirm the June date for the inquest into the helicopter accident that resulted in four tragic deaths. Kyle Chirac, 27, Jeffrey Howes, 26, James Barriger, 39, and Darcy Jansen, 26, all died on December 14, 2017, from injuries sustained when their helicopter crashed into construction site in Tweed. The YMCA of Eastern Ontario is launching its Strong Communities campaign to improve access to Y programs through its Financial Assistance Program. The focus of this year's annual campaign is on small acts creating big change. Any donation, no matter the size, can be the drop that creates the ripples of change for people in our community, the organization expressed. Help them reach their goal of $420,000 by making a donation today on their website. For more on this story and other local news, please visit kingsnist.com and subscribe.